For many years now, we've been flushing medications down the sink or the toilet. This has created a new environmental problem, medication and personal care product pollution. Although the health effects of these pollutants is unknown, subtle changes in aquatic life are already measurable. The problem is that water treatment plants are designed to remove bacteria and common pollutants, not medications. As a result, most environmental organizations and many local and governmental agencies suggest not flushing medications. This has also been echoed by the news media. One option is to throw unused or expired medications in the garbage. Some people recommend putting them in sealable plastic containers. Others recommend mixing them with cat litter and dousing them with water before throwing them in the garbage. Unfortunately, both these ideas are impractical. Plastic is not biodegradable and contributes to the growth of landfills. If the container breaks or opens, the medications will be exposed to water. The same thing happens when the medications and personal care products are thrown directly into the garbage. Water from various sources will absorb these spilled medications and can leach into the water table. Many landfills reclaim this water and sell it to municipalities for irrigation purposes. This water may be free of pollutants and bacteria, but not the discarded medications. The only safe way to prevent contamination of water by discarded medications is to incinerate them. This is recommended by several organizations. There are a couple of compelling reasons why incineration is the preferred method for disposing of unwanted medications. As we've seen so far, this will reduce contamination of our water supply. It is safe for the environment. There is a whole new class of incinerators used for medical waste that use new technology that minimizes carbon dioxide and air pollution. Expired medications can be used as a source of energy in some incinerators. Companies like Covanta and Capital Returns can utilize expired medications as a fuel source that reduces the need to use coal. There are currently over 30 plants in the U.S. run by these companies that utilize discarded medications as fuel. This is where the ecologically friendly medication disposal container comes in handy. The container is made from recycled paper, holds up to two quarts of water, and comes with a resealable top. A disposable funnel and disposable gloves are included with the kit. Also in the kit are a bittering and tagging agent, which stains medications and makes them unpalatable, and a thickening agent, which solidifies liquids. This collection kit is inexpensive, easy to use, and non-toxic. The non-usable parts of the kit are recyclable. The coloring, bittering, and thickening agents are non-toxic and produce no toxic chemicals when incinerated. There are laws in several states and pilot programs in many others that require retailers of pharmaceutical drugs to have a system for accepting and collecting pharmaceutical drugs for proper waste disposal. Using an ecologically friendly medication disposal container is an easy, inexpensive way of reducing water pollution and keeping the home safe by getting rid of unneeded medications and, in a small but significant way, contribute to the development of an alternative fuel source that will lower the need for coal.
use the ecologically friendly medication disposal container. Make the water safe for all.